The absolute timing of episode 9 couldn't have been any more weirder. Not too long ago, social media influencer Kevin Samuels passed away and to, it, it took me by surprise you know i only saw a couple clips of the guy i mean I've, I've seen how controversial he is and and it was weird seeing him in episode 9 of atlanta like i saw a lot of people in the community talking about like this is so weird like it's a very crazy coincidence considering this season has been about ghosts and just to see him here just shortly after his passing was i would just chalk it up to saying very surreal now regardless of the man's politics it is unfortunate that we lost mr samuels and so my condolences condolences go to his family and loved ones. Now getting into this week's episode, I would say that this has been one of the more obscure episodes to date. And I don't know if I've said that in the past before, but considering that this is the second to last episode, I can firmly say that before we get into season four. And I'm not sure if that's because the episode was shot in black and white and we've never seen that before, or the message wasn't as intense as the other standalone episodes. Like it's still serious, but it's not as like hard hitting or groundbreaking as the others. And that's just my opinion. And to be fair, I think it is easier just to simply discuss what this episode was narratively about. I mean, I will consider some details or some scenes that I really thought were important, but I'm just going to generally explain what I thought of the episode. So starting with the character of Aaron, I feel as though he was someone who had access to both worlds, being black and white, but in the same token, didn't fit in with either groups, at least not by social standards or even societal. And like he kind of only used either or depending on the situation to his own benefit like for instance when he was in the car with his father on the way to school there was news on the radio of a black kid being shot at a mall and he expresses to his father that he wouldn't have to worry about those things but there's that disconnection there there's that ignorance despite also being black himself yeah he's white passing but there's still that disconnection and so Aaron ultimately mirrors the ideology of an indifferent bystander until it suits him best and that's shown later on the episode when an alumni comes to the school and gives all the black kids a scholarship he was struggling and here's the opportunity to you know go to college and so he decides to use his black card for once and so i don't know if i'm looking too deep into this when i say this but it is a real thing the black test people will be tested on their blackness and i'm sure it happens more for those who are lighter toned mixed or even racially ambiguous with black ancestry just like aaron and even if you're able to satisfy the black test it's like there'll still be that shroud of doubt like it happens but in aaron's case he kind of just flunks the test overall and he's just met with the unfairness of the situation and he worked pretty hard for it too and it didn't lead him anywhere and that's even something his father even talks about like being black in america sometimes mean you won't get what you know you deserve but aaron being aaron he kind of takes this rejection the wrong way and one thing led to the next and then he's just in front of the school trying to burn it which before i get into that i thought the cinematography of this montage was absolutely amazing it was something about the music coupled with the noir filter it really set the tone like it became very horror movie-esque like halfway through and donald being the director's seat is a gift in more ways than one anyways aaron gets onto the school grounds and comes across someone who just so happens to have the same idea in mind and here we get another layer on blackness in america i felt as though it was about identity or lack thereof and so overall the grand scheme of blackness is like navigating in a world that's familiar with itself while you're the anomaly and that's just like the black experience and that's just conveyed in a few lines of dialogue here it's really a tough world out there and so one thing led to the next they started burning down the school wrecking havoc and in the end the nigerian kid got shot i initially thought he died but it was just merely a shoulder wound but aaron i was quite surprised for i thought considering his impartial privilege that he would have gotten away scot-free but no he got very much detained while the other was able to collect that college grant money because getting shot by the police was the blackest thing he could have done and so we reached the end of the episode now in hindsight i'm not exactly sure if this is a good ending for the character of aaron like it wasn't until he experienced hardship that he decided to embrace his black side and what does that even like tell you like is that even a good thing like i get it that prison can change a person but like come on now <laughs> like the conclusion of aaron feels more like a tragedy than a good resolution but that's just me anyways that reaches the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed please share any comments or thoughts that you've had pertaining to this episode and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one